how to grant privileges to user role on PostgreSQL database with Ansible. I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Berton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Ansible grant privilege to user role on PostgreSQL database. Let's talk about the Ansible module PostgreSQL underscore privs. The full name is community.postgresql. PostgreSQL underscore privs, which means that is part of a collection of module community.postgresql maintained by the Ansible community to interact with PostgreSQL. The collection is tested with Ansible Core version 2.11 plus. Prior versions such as 2.9 and 2.10 are not supported. The purpose of a model is to grant or revoke privileges on PostgreSQL database object. This model uses PsychoPG2, a Python PostgreSQL user library. You must ensure that Python 3-PsychoPG2 is installed on the host before using this model. And now, demo time! Let's jump into a real-life Ansible playbook to grant privileges to user role on PostgreSQL database. I'm going to show you how to grant all the privileges to user role my user for database testdb in the current PostgreSQL server. Are you excited? Let's move it on! Welcome to my editor. I'm going to show you one simple Ansible playbook to grant privilege on user role on PostgreSQL database. First of all, let's begin our YAML document with three dash and one name for our play, PostgreSQL demo, that is going to execute again host all on my inventory let me define some variable. First is db underscore user. This is the username that we are going to enable. So my user on that on db name. This is the name of the database test db. This putting as a variable is very helpful to customize if you need to change permission on other databases as well. Let's begin our task list with our first task is to verify that the utility is present on the target system using ansible.builtin.package. Specifically, we need to verify package name python3 psychopg2. The state must be present on the target system. In this way, we verify that the package is successfully installed. This package is necessary for the following step to grant DB user access to DB. Now, user is called role. We are going to use community.postgresql.postgresql underscore briefs. This is the module name with some parameter to allow this operation. First of all is the granting type, in our case, database. Second, database, the database name where to perform the operation, in my case, was defined under the variable db underscore name. As you can see, the brackets are actually the value of a variable. The role is the database user or role, so db underscore user in my case. Okay, now the type of privilege that we are trying to setting, and we are setting an all privilege on this database for the user, and let me also specify grant underscore option to false, so the user can't grant other user with the same permission.
Mm, we need to run this command as uh, another user. So let me use the become method with become underscore user postgres. This is the system, the database administrator of the PostgreSQL server. And that's it. We are able to set the right privilege using this wonderful Ansible module. One important thing is missing. We need to set up the become true option. This enables to execute all the following tasks under the root user, the system administrator, your Linux system. In this way, we are going to we are able to install the necessary packages as well also log in to the database uh, user. This is very, very important. Welcome to my Ansible controller terminal. First of all, let me connect to my demo machine via SSH DevOps as username at demoexample.com. Uh, let me switch to root user. Now, finally, I could switch also to Postgres database user. In this way, we are able to execute the PSQL command line. This is a direct interface to Postgres to execute some command, for example, slash backslash L to list the current databases and privilege. Please notice this test db has a no access privilege currently set it up so let me quit disconnect from postgres user from root user from normal user and finally run my code with ansible dash playbook command let me specify the inventory file as well as ansible playbook name user underscore grant the execution is very fast and once it verify that the utility is currently present, OK status, we can move along to the second task to grant DB user role access to database. We got a change of status, so something changed on the database side. What happens if we execute again the same code? Well, Ansible is going to verify that everything is already Sort it out and return OK status. This property is called hidden potency. And uh, everything seems sorted out. Let's double check via SSH DevOps username demoexample.com. Uh, same story as before sudo su for root user, and now we could connect to the Postgres user and execute PSQL utility. This time running backslash L, we got more information on the access privilege. As you can see, the column got a new value for my user that now is able to connect to the testdb database and perform any operation. Yes, great result. So Ansible currently set it up the permission in the desired database. So now my user is able to connect to testdb and perform any operation. Yay! Now you know how to grant privileges to users and role on PostgreSQL database with Ansible. Thank you for watching. I hope this lesson was useful for you and uh, See us again in the next Ansible Pilot lesson and have a great day! Yay! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun!